Let's roll for Turaco. Welcome back to Roll for Turaco. And it is the start of Independent TTRPG Month as created by Professor Dungeon Master on Dungeon Craft. He proposed that in the month of July, we talk about and promote and share RPG games that are not the uh, the main mainstream ones that are uh, independent. So to kick it off, um, I'm just gonna show some some books that I got and I got here. The uh, basic fantasy role playing game. Basic Fantasy RPG. This is the third edition, but I also got the fourth edition plus other other books uh, within the uh, the Basic Fantasy line. So I'm just gonna do some flip, flip throughs, show the books, and uh, let's uh, let's get to it. Right. Here I have all my Basic Fantasy books, and before. I talk about them. You can get all of these for free as PDFs on the Basic Fantasy website. And there's extra stuff there. There's supplements that you can download. So this game is completely free, created by Chris Gunnerman and the Basic Fantasy community on, on the forums. There's a Discord group. There's a Facebook group. So... So they, they work on these uh, adventures, these extra books. Uh, you know, Chris worked on the core rule book and the community worked on a, a whole bunch of these. Uh, you know, I, I can't say at the top of my head who worked on what, but. <laughs> so you can get these books uh, at cost or nearly at cost on Lulu and on Amazon. I got these on Amazon. The price did go up a, a little bit, but that was Amazon's doing. So this is the third edition right here. Third edition of Basic Fantasy. And you got here on the back. Basic Fantasy Role-Playing Game. This is a new game with rules like mechanics designed for the kind of gameplay popular in the early days of Role-playing games. The look and feel is classic from the races, classes, spells, monsters, and magic items included down to the very typeface and layout chosen. This is old school. Modern game systems are heavy, both in terms of the sheer weight of the books as well as the amount the players and game master must learn to play them. Here in this one volume are all the rules needed to create and run adventures the old fashioned way. An experienced player can create and equip a character in under 10 minutes and even a novice can be ready to play in under half an hour. Game masters will find that the brief and simple rules for monsters and magic make the job of adventure creation just as easy. Combat can be completed by moderately experienced players with little or no need to stop and look up rules. Don't buy this book. Well, not yet anyway. The basic fantasy role-playing game rules are available for free on our website. www.basicfantasy.org There you will also find adventures, alternate rules, and other supplement supplementary materials to enhance your game. Now, if you don't want to print the rules out yourself, please do buy this book and enjoy. And this was the uh, new revised third edition, which was I think, uh, $5 and change. I think I paid five fifty for for this one. It has gone up. I think it's $7. And I'm not sure about the how much extra change? <laughs> but that was Amazon's doing. This is the revised fourth edition.
And this one is under the, uh, the Creative Commons and is compatible with all previous editions. So you can use the fourth edition rule book, which is more of a revision. It, it's not uh, an edition uh, specifically. It, it's a revision, it's revised. There's been some changes, more monsters added. Uh, the weight of the coins, I hear that was a, uh, that was lowered, so you can carry more coins. And I'm not, I'm not sure what else, but I'm sure I'll find out. <laughs> and all uh, these books that I that I that I bought on Amazon, at the time, some were like under five dollars, some were under three dollars. Uh, they have gone up a little. Like I said, that was that was Amazon. But three, uh, let's see, yeah, three of these have already gone under the uh, the uh, the fourth edition uh, revision, so it has this border all over. That's a, a difference in in the cover. So this says the border around the uh, the dragon, and on the back. And this one ha has it going all around the, the book itself, which, uh, as DM Tales pointed out, it's easier to find on your on your bookshelf. Okay, I might put some stickers or something here, but yeah, I, actually, I like it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show some of these adventure books. So you got the, oh yeah, what I do wanna say before I get to this one. So really, you only need this book. It has the rules and it has a, a ton of monsters, especially this revised one has more monsters. And look at how, how much thicker it is than the third. Has some uh, extra artwork. Anyway, so I'll show that in a minute. All right, so this one, this is the monster guy. This is the basic fantasy field guide of creatures malevolent and benign. So you can buy this extra for more monsters. Let's, uh, let's do a flip through. Oh, wow. This is a Barkley? What is this? <laughs> Could be. One of the new. Uh, monsters added in the uh, fourth edition basic fantasy is Barklings, and I'll show that in a minute because the artwork looks pretty cool. Oh wow! Yeah, I haven't I haven't gone through through these yet. So. Some of these I'm looking at for the very first time. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Can can or canine? Oh wow, that, that looks really awesome. I wanna look at the art uh carefully on my own time, because I want to see who, who drew all this. You know, a lot of different artists uh, contributed to, to these books, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's, uh, let's look at the, uh, I want to look at the board notes.
Oh, wow. Joe drew this. Good job, Joe. No idea who Joe is, but he drew it. <laughs> I just joined the Discord server recently. So still getting to know people. All right, so I probably should have looked up the uh, page of the Barklings first. <laughs> I know I've seen it. But look at all this cool stuff. I think it's like just under nine dollars on Amazon, which is still pretty a pretty decent price. Ah, oh, dinosaurs! I did see this and I. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was a I, I, the Dinonychus. So maybe I forget how to pronounce some of these. So the, the Panther Hydra. So there are some some updates in the names. That's cool. I'm glad that there's dinosaurs. Here it is, the Barklings. By Chris Fua. Nice. So the uh, the story behind this this was going to be a replacement for the Cobalts, which was going to be a throwback to how the Cobalts were originally uh, uh, dog people, and they were cursed by uh, a wizard or a warlock. I don't know the lore exactly, but that's uh, that's that's what I heard on the street. The Cobalts are under the uh, Creative Commons now; those that are they can be used. So they kept the Cobalts, but added added these as a separate monster, separate creature called the Barklings. And. Uh, I think this has become the unofficial mascot because I keep seeing this. Uh, anytime I look up basic fantasy 4th edition, I keep seeing this image. So great job, Chris Fua. And, uh, I need to start making some characters. <laughs> All right, so that's a flip through for Basic Fantasy 4th edition. 3rd uh, edition is pretty much pretty much the same. Let's look at these. So this this is one that got the uh the updated treatment and as far as I know I haven't I haven't bought the the new one yet but as far as I know I think it's mostly the same I think the only thing that was taken out was this this uh, license here and was replaced with the Creative Commons And originally, I wasn't going to rebuy it since I already have it, and it is compatible. Uh, the uh, the fourth edition is compatible. That's something that uh, Chris Gonneran re really really uh, wanted. That uh, like I said, they're not really additions; they're revisions, so they all work. You don't have to replace all your books if you don't want to. I'm thinking I might though, just <laughs> so I can have a my fourth edition set and some some of the books are still coming in the process of, of coming out so they're not all all there but um but that might that might be cool so might we buy it this is the the basic fantasy equipment emporium vehicles animals it's all your gear oh so i wonder if it has a more artwork. So 
So we got Castle by the Sea. It's a, an adventure. Adventure collection number one. Six classic adventures. Again, don't buy this book. Unless you want it in print. Oh, maps. Castle by the Sea. Okay, so all these books I got for uh, not not counting the uh, the fourth edition because I bought that later. But all these all these books at the time I paid. A little over forty dollars. I think like under fifty dollars. That's the price of some uh, some other core rule books. I bought all, a whole system plus adventures for the same price, <laughs> and you can get them for free. They're on the the website, but I want I want the physical books. <laughs> Strongholds of Sorcery, the Glane campaign. Let's see. For four to eight players, player characters, levels four to eight. So let's see how many can play this one. For player characters of various levels. So, so I guess there's not like a set number. All right. Strongholds of Sorcery. You got Glain right there. Some maps. Let's look at these maps. Different levels. Oh, cool. Oh, right. So I'm just going to flip through all of these Monkey Isle. Levels four to six. Oh wow! Oh, I just I, I like the little details of the grass. Ah. <laughs> oh wow! Nice. I like this design. Let's see who does it say who drew it. Uh, cover art, artwork, J.D. Neal, Alexander Cook, John Frederick, Corey, Shownolf, Gain it, Kevin, Kevin, um, Mort Morton, cover art, Cameron Dominic. Nice. Chaotic Caves. Character levels one, one, two, three. One, two, three. One through three. One, two, three. Like a bird, I sing. Dark Temple. <gasps> oh, giant crab. 
Oh, mermaid. Let's see. For player characters of various levels. Morgan Sword. So I've heard a lot about this one. And I've first heard, uh, well, I, I saw some videos uh, around the same time, but I know one of, one of them that was talking about this was DM Tales, and he really went, went into it. So this is one that you can buy now, the updated version. I know there is another one. Uh, Tales from the Laughing Dragon, that's that's another one. And I think the other one is uh, the Apple one. Let's see. Oh, right here. The Black Apple Br Brug. Western Nine Campaigns. Four to eight beginning player characters. So I hear this is one, uh, like, if you're going to start a campaign, this is one to start with. Or an, an adventure. Tales from the Laughing Dragon, a Dragon Claw Adventure. Okay. So I'm wondering if this one has... The new one has more artwork. I'm not sure. Because I, I wanted to see a laughing dragon. Oh, uh, the black apple bra. Bra. Let's see. For, for four to six player characters, levels one to three. Lack of bird icing. The Elf Lord. Oh. So I wonder if this guy an update. And let's just flip these here. Adventure Anthology 1, Adventure Anthology 2. There is a third one in PDF form on basicfantasy.org. So, Fortress, Tomb, and Tower. Saga of the Giants. I I wanted to get this one. This is a, a good sized book. Let's do a quick flip through. Uh, doesn't say for what level, but probably at any level, various levels, since they're little anthologies. It's, oh, wow, <laughs> this artwork is great. Fortress, Tomb, and Tower. Levels 2 to 8. Okay. And Saga of the Giants. That is for 9 to 12 players. So the level is 9 to 12. So this one's a little bit more, more advanced. Man, we were made these maps. Ooh, a lot of maps. All right. So that was my basic fantasy collection. And uh, they do have the uh, first edition available on Amazon, and I think Lulu. 
So I'm going to buy that. It it went up <laughs> a couple of dollars. And I, I was kicking myself that I didn't buy it right away. But I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that just to have it as in the collection. Uh, I think this is a whole lot better, but uh, but just so I can yeah, just kind of have it as a time capsule. And... All right, so this has been Frank Salazar with Roll for Turaco. Check out basicfantasy.org. I'm gonna leave links. To the uh, website in the description below, and we'll see you next time. Let's roll for Turaco.